Why everybody? Shh, quiet. You. Uh, but quiet. How you been? Okay, I'm still here. Are you still here? Yes. Now we've got to be quiet. It's the middle of the night. Okay, I've been doing experiments. Things have been happening. Do you wonder, you know, like I do, you go to sleep, you go to bed, maybe with your, uh, with your cuddly sheep, maybe, I don't know, or maybe you're bedding down with your, with your cuddly monkey, I don't know. Um, do you go to sleep with your cuddly Pikachu? No, no, they're not mine. Don't be silly. Um, Are you all right, monkey? Are you okay, monkey? Sorry, I dropped you on your head. I'm so sorry. Anyway, um, what happens at night? You go to sleep with your teddies, your monkeys, your sheep, your Pikachus, and then they wake up and they're like halfway across the room. What's that all about? Or maybe uh, the one that always gets me. Do you, now, be honest, I think we know each other well enough now over these few weeks we've been doing these. Weeks, months, years, how long's it been? Time has no meaning anymore. Well, uh, yeah, I, the thing that gets me, you go to sleep, okay, and... Can I share this with you? I'm not sure if I should be. I th yeah, we're close enough now. We're close enough now. You wake up in the morning in your belly button. Fluff. What's that all about? Where does the belly button fluff come from? I have an answer. I have been doing experiments. Um, here we go. <coughs> have you ever noticed when you wake up from your sleep, your hair is in a real mess and your clothes are in a heap? And even though you went to bed, your body clean enough when you check your belly button. It's always full of fluff. You may have showered the night before. You're clean without a doubt. But stick your finger in it and a piece of fluff pops out. I'll tell you why it happens, but keep it between me and you. It's the work of a tummy troll by the name of Stinky Poo. Now, I don't want to alarm you, but when you fall asleep, he'll tiptoe into your bedroom onto your tummy creep. And gently, oh so gently, with perfect grace and poise, he'll place fluff in your navel without making a noise. Why does he do it? I hear you ask. Well, it's what tummy trolls do. But that's not all you can expect from little Stinky Poo. He's only tiny. He's only tiny. Just as we are sleeping, Stinky Poo awakes and slowly does his nightly rounds and what mischief he makes. If you go to bed still wearing socks, a rather fetching pair, and wake up the next morning to find one of your feet is bare. Stinky Poo has made his move and whipped it from your toes. Where has he put it? Is it lost? Well, no one really knows. And even though you're sleeping sound on sheets crisp, white and clean, Upon opening both your eyes, guess which troll has been? He packs a little bag up, and in the night he comes, emptying it onto your sheets, grit and biscuit crumbs. Does that happen to you too? It does me. As you slowly drift to sleep, with Teddy under your arm. Aww. His furry face, his little legs, keeping you safe from harm. But... What? As you awaken, the shock, the pain, the sin. <gasps> Little Teddy's upside down in your waste paper bin. Then sometimes, though you go to bed, your stomach feeling fine. You'll wake in the early hours and your tummy will gurgle and whine. Oh, the pain, the aches, the noise. And oh, what's that funny smell? It seems that Stinky Poo has cast his flappy woof woof spell. <laughs> Even Yoda's choking. <clears throat> and then he's crowning... The batteries are going in Yoda. It, it sounds like he's coughing. It? Yoda's got a bad cough. And then his crowning glory. So when he's gone, he's not forgotten. A juicy piece of fluffy stuff thrust in your belly button. But don't be scared of Stinky Poo. Just don't think him bad or shocking. He just leaves fluff in your navel at night, like Santa leaves gifts in your stocking. So next time you wake one fine morning, with crumbs and grit in your bed, one sock gone missing, your bear in your bin, or a smell like the gerbil is dead. Check your belly button. 
If the fluff is packed in tight, I'd say Stinky Poo the Tummy Troll paid you a visit last night. Yeah, so that's who we are going to draw right now, my friends. Grab yourself a piece of... I nearly said a piece of pen and a paper. Uh, you know what I mean. A piece of paper and a pen. I shall pause while you go get it. OK, we're off. Let me find a piece of paper on here. OK, uh, where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? Oh, not that. No, that's got a, that's got a picture on it already. That's got a picture on it already. Oh, here we go. Phew. I thought I'd run out of paper for a second. Phew. Right, where's my pen? Here we go. Right, everybody ready? Are you ready over there? You sure? Stop, stop sticking that there. No, take it out. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Are you, you OK? You ready? Yeah, good. Stop dribbling on the paper. No, stop. Fine. Good. You okay over there? You're always okay. You're great. You're the best. I like you the best. Brilliant. Um, thank you for sending all your pictures in, by the way. I love to see them. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We shall talk more about that in a second. Let's get, uh, let's get going. Okay. <clears throat> How are we going to start this? This is Stinky Poo the Tummy Troll. Here we go. First, whee! <sighs> it's going to be his nose. That is one big nose, isn't it? That's even bigger than mine. Um, so we want a nose there. And then, on the end of his nose, two circles. Obviously, going to be his eyes. And then the two pupils in the eyeballs. Just there. You got that? OK, good. Um, right, here's the fun bit. Uh, Stinky Poo looks like this. Here we go. Uh, did you see Kermit fall off the door then? Kermit, what are you doing? I don't know. The place is falling to bits. We've been doing this so long. Things are starting to drop off the bunker. OK. He wants a big... Whoa! Like that, OK. That is going to be Stinky Poo's body. He's quite round. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then, just up here, before we join um, up with the eyes, he wants his little tummy troll hand like this okay you got that yeah you got that of course you have and then the other side um another hand sticking out like this okay um now very important something is going in there in a second all right uh, now top of his head here we go Whee! just around there all right looking good so far everybody looking good um his little legs. Can you do four little lines at the bottom there? They're kind of his little legs. Um, he's flying through the air, because did I tell you tummy trolls can fly? Yeah, they can, they can. Um, and then his feet behind him in the air, like that. Okay, now, um, here are the bits that make a tummy troll a tummy troll. Um, top of his head, he's got some antennas. Now, because he um, because he likes to put the fluff in your belly button, but that's not just me, is it? You get that too? It's not just me. No, no. I knew you get it. I knew you get it. Um, so, uh, he wants some fluff on his antennas there, okay, to show that he is a tummy troll, because other trolls have different antennas, different tails. Here we go. Um, he wants his tail coming out there again, piece of fluff on the end yeah oh this is good this is good and then in his hand another piece of fluff okay and then a big smile on his face shall we make it bigger okay we're going to go all the way back again Whee! like this that is one big smile then fill that smile up with a big cheesy tummy troll grin if you like some lines down there show he is flying through the air towards your belly button to stick the fluff in or maybe to sprinkle some biscuit crumbs and grit onto your sheet at night. And why does that happen? Tommy Trolls, obviously. So, there is your Stinky Poo, the Tommy Troll. Now, I was thinking, I know you can do such great pictures. How about this? Um, shall we have a whole array, a whole army of different little trolls in your house? Now, how about this? There could be a troll for anything. Um, so, 
what does a troll do in your house? Now, I've got a tummy troll here. Um, you've got to give him a name or her a name. I don't know. Um, I was thinking you could have an old, a whole army of little tiny trolls in your house getting up to things. You know, like things go... I was thinking like this, look, look. The TV remote goes missing. That's got to be a, uh, a remote troll or a TV troll. <gasps> that's it, that's it, a TV troll. Uh, do the biscuits all disappear in your house? They do in mine. Who knows where they go? It's going to be a biscuit troll. It's going to be Bum Bum the Biscuit Troll, surely. Is it? I don't know. Um, the Cereal Bowl Troll. You know when you've had your cereal, you've been like maybe watching TV, playing some games or something, reading a book, and you, you've got your bowl of cereal there, and um, you know, you, you say, you say you're going to clean it up, you're going to wash your bowl up, but, it, but it's still there. Um, maybe the Cereal Bowl Troll is responsible. Cereal Bowl Troll. That's, uh, that almost rhymes. Um, maybe the cereal bowl troll um, is responsible for cleaning up all the cereal bowls that you leave around the house. I've seen you do it. I've seen you. Um, and the pants on the floor troll. Uh, Petulia the pants troll. Yeah, you know, the troll that leaves the pants all over your bedroom. You know the ones. Um, so, get drawing. Get imagineering. Get your brain switched on. Um, let's have some uh, some trolls and some names for your trolls and what do the trolls do in your house? There's got to be thousands of things that go wrong in your house that go missing that don't get done. It's trolls. I'm sure it is. Um, now, just before we go, do send your uh, pictures to me um, on the Twitters, uh, which is at Chris White Poet. And also, uh, ah, here we go. The hashtag Create With Chris. We have had some trouble. We've had some problems from the people at create with cress now it's very similar um the people that create with cress grow little uh cressy vegetation in bowls they've got very annoyed when they get sent uh, pictures of dinosaurs and unicorns and trolls we don't want to upset the cress people they have been throwing cress seeds at my windows in protest i've had some cress seeds through the letterbox and thrown onto the front garden which is fine because it's like an allotment out there now um so um Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Create with Chris. Now, like I say, it's the middle of the night. I'm going to go back to bed. So, uh, good night, everybody. Um, see you from Coughing Yoda. Impossible. Just... Oh, nearly. Nearly. There he goes. Um, good to see you. I'll see you next time. Okay. Create with Chris. Create with Chris. This room is a mess. Create with Chris. Create with Chris. Create with Chris. Thanks for watching this. Create with Chris. Say goodbye, Yoda. <laughs>